Welcome once again friends from Yehuda Director for the YPS Native Outreach in the Philippines. YPS under the leadership of Rabbi Todd has become an NGO non-government organization at the United Nations. Hashem has made this opportunity a reality which will not only change our mission but increase our outreach program tremendously. I received this letter from Rabbi Todd and would like to share it with you. As you will see the situation in the Philippines is complex. I will now read the letter from Rabbi Todd. We met at the committee FORB meeting at the Bay Center. We represent the indigenous peoples of the Philippines having a formal agreement with Philippine Government Office of the NCIP, National Commission on Indigenous Peoples, which is a national government agency of the Republic of the Philippines. The ancient tribal beliefs are in jeopardy affecting millions of people. Here is a very brief summary of the situation. It is an absolute must that the UN become aware and start to take an active role in this enormous tragedy that is happening as we speak. Our NGO is working to partner with the tribes and develop their ancient lands to produce wheat to assist the world in the famine and worldwide wheat shortage created due to the Russia-Ukraine conflict. The indigenous people are a less fortunate people long time deprived of education. However, as time passes another threat of communist insurgency in the Philippines has victimized the indigenous people and lured them to participate in armed conflict making them bear arms and fight the government forces fiercely. The leader and founder of the CCP Communist Party of the Philippines lives a kingly life of fortune in the Netherlands. Why the military arm of the CCP called NPA or New People's Army are murdering thousands of indigenous people slash tribes for not aligning with their bloody campaign against the Philippine government. Indigenous tribes are being exploited and even forbidden to practice their culture and traditional belief system as it is useful in the armed struggle. Not only the tribal practices are under threat but also the conversion of some tribes into any religion or beliefs are also forbidden by the Red Communist fighters in the hinterland of the Philippines. The sad really is that the Red Communist fighters are dominant in the ancestral lands of the indigenous people which gives them advantage against any military operations by the government due to geographical locations of such indigenous tribal lands. Currently, the killings still occur when the leader or tribal chieftain won't participate in the communist agenda or even put into under suspicion as a military asset or informer. Right now, currently our organization is the only one in the Philippines who assists the indigenous people in their hard situations like calamities and force majeure and legal application of their documents being a registered member of the society. Some of the ancestral areas are dominantly controlled by the idea of communism and was being a target of their child warrior recruitment against the government. These communists don't want development and wanted to keep the lives of the indigenous people be under their control by being poor. We hope with the assistance of the UN and other interested parties to not only relieve these people of these challenges, but to provide employment and a future for the people to support and educate their families as a part of the Philippine society. Their belief system is being severely challenged and we seek help from this committee to remedy that as well. The end. As you can see YPS Native Outreach Program is strategically placed as the only legally representative for the indigenous tribal people we have been working with over the last several years. The YPS Native we have established very close relationships by provide aid during floods for example. We have established Beth Midrash's houses for Torah study not only in Davao City but in several tribes. Now, with YPS Rabbi Todd representing the indigenous tribes at the United Nations with the help of Hashem our sphere of influence will increase and our dream of taking Torah to the nation. Please keep me in your prayers as with the help of Hashem I continue to spread Torah knowledge to the interior tribes. Pray for Rabbi Todd who has taken on this task at the United Nations. YPS and Native continue to help support our outreach program. If you would be interested in helping this outreach please visit nativeonline.org or ypsnative.org which is our teaching site with many free classes. Once again my friends may Hashem bless each of you. This is Yehuda signing off.